I have a critical <laughs> RV house battery saving tip for you today. So you might see behind me, my house battery is looking pretty good. I've had a lot of cloudy days, a lot of rain. So my house battery has not been getting a full charge every day. On top of that, I have a lot of things that I need to plug into my house battery to get charged. And it might look like my battery is full, but I'm not ready to start plugging things in yet. You know why? I want to wait for that little green light to start blinking. That means that I'm at a float charge. What does that mean? It means that my battery is completely topped off. It's completely full and I have excess solar power coming into my battery. So that's the perfect time to start plugging things in. Number one, you've got plenty of solar power to keep your battery at a full charge. And number two, you know for sure that your battery is fully charged, which is critical to extending the life of your RV house battery. That's my RV tip for you.